treated every day the same. It didn't matter if it was September 11th or October 1st or whatever. If they had GRS there, it was considered a high threat environment anyway, so our security was always high. I got a phone call on my cell from Roan, which was Tyrone Woods, saying I needed to get back to the annex and don't go anywhere near the embassy. I heard over the radio, if you guys don't get here now, we're gonna die. We're sitting there waiting and I'm looking at Bob and saying, hey, you know, we need to get over there, we're losing the initiative. And he just looks back and says, stand down, you need to wait. More time starting to go by. The state guys are on the radio saying, hey, they're lighting the, the villa on fire, which is the where the safe room is and where the ambassador was hiding out. The panic that you could hear in the State Department um, voices, the fear that they had was just, I mean, it was heart aching that we couldn't get there quicker. You could hear the gunfire, you know, in the distance you could see the flames or the glow of the fires. That was kind of the last straw and we just said, hey, we're rolling. And it was at that time that it was my responsibility to make sure our compound was going to be secure and I was now responsible for the lives of 20 people. Next thing you know, again, another, another attack happens. We got a rocket that hit the back wall, small arms fire opened up, and a mortar hit the top of the wall. It was a local Libyan plane that uh, we finally got out on, and, and it was about 13 hours that we, from the time of contact until the, we finally uh, took off from Benghazi. We didn't have to go over and rescue them. The State Department guys, that wasn't our job. Ours was to protect the CIA personnel. But, you know, when you hear Americans on the radio basically pleading for help because there's no one else to come get them, we knew that we didn't have an option but go get them. And, you know, that's just the way we are. You're not gonna leave an American behind. You're not gonna leave somebody that needs your help when you know that you can, uh, you can make a difference in their life.